everyone. Thank you for attending the DAS Electrochemical Webinar 2022, June. I'm Nico for International Service Team, and I will be the moderator. Today, it will be the third lecture introduced by Dr. Jung from Technical Support Department. The term is Introduction of Spectroelectrochemical Instrument Procedure using ALS spectroelectrochemical cell and spectrometer system. Hello everyone. In our previous lecture, we have introduced the basic principle of the spectroelectrochemical method, typical SEC methods, and some application examples of the ultraviolet visible absorption spectrum method using optical transparent electrochemical cells, and also showed what kind of research the SEC methods were applied for. In this lecture, we would like to show you the actual measurement procedure in detail using the ALS spectroelectrochemical cell and the spectrometer system. Let me show you the contents. At the beginning, there is an overview of SEC measurement system. Then, I'd like to show you the process of preparing samples, assembling SEC cells, setting up hardware and software, performing and storing measurements, and analyzing measurement results by loading data on the software. At last, there is a measurement example that using the stopped flow type cell for a sample with high absorbance. First, let's look at SEC measurement system. SEC is a measurement which combined the spectroscopy measuring method with the electrochemical measuring method simultaneously. Techniques on which the SEC is based are electrochemistry and the spectroscopy. For measurement, we need a spectrometer system this time, we will use the SEC 2020 spectrometer system, and we need an electrochemical analyzer. Here, we use the model 3325 by potential start. Also, we need a SEC cell to contain the solution and the electrodes. ALS provides two types of SEC cells based on optical transparent electrode method. Here is the batch type, coarse glass cell, includes mesh working electrode. ARS offers two optical path length coarse glass cells. The flow type cell includes a grid or ITO working electrode. The optical path length depends on the thickness of gasket so that you can obtain more thinner layer. In the following, I will use the coarse glass cell as example to show you the measurement procedure. Preparing of samples. A reduced potassium ferrocyanide solution is used. On the left side, the SEC CT thin layer coarse glass spectroelectrochemical cell kit contains 2 millimolar potassium ferrocyanide solution. Its reduction state and its color is lemon yellow. And on the right side, the SEC CT cell contains oxidation state of potassium ferrocyanide solution. The color of salt is bright red, but its solution shows some green yellow. By using the reduced solution as a reference, 
the absorbance during oxidative electrolysis is difference value dot OD. Here is a comparing of the absorbance change recorded by OD and dot OD. Absorbance difference dot OD is an efficiency way to observe when spectral changes are not obvious. Next, I will show you how to assemble the SECT quartz cell by video. You can also watch the video on our BS channel too. Assembly of spectroelectrochemical cell. For the spectroelectrochemical cells, there are batch type SECCT and flow type SEC3F. In this video, we will introduce how to assemble the SECCT thin layer quartz glass spectroelectrochemical cell kit. The assembly image of the SECCT thin layer quartz glass spectroelectrochemical cell kit is shown. Here are the details of the components. Quartz glass cell. Gauze working electrode. PT counter electrode. Teflon cap. Reference electrode, optional product. And purge tube. Add 0.7 to 0.8 milliliters of solution into the quartz glass cell. Be careful not to pollute the optical path when holding the cell. Add slowly so that air bubbles do not occur. Insert a PT gauze working electrode to the Teflon cap from below. Insert a PT counter electrode to the Teflon cap from above. Set the Teflon cap on the quartz glass cell. Make sure that the gauze working electrode is free of air bubbles. The gauze working electrode and counter electrode are not in contact. Insert a reference electrode to the Teflon cap. Make sure there are no air bubbles on the electrodes. Insert a purge tube to the Teflon cap if necessary. Set the quartz glass cell containing sample into the cuvette holder, paying attention to the direction of light transmission and the cell slit. This completes the assembly of SECCT thin layer quartz glass spectroelectrochemical cell kit. The following, we need to set up the hardware and connect the spectrometer with potential start by trigger cables. Connect trigger cable to SE2020 spectrometer and remote cable for trigger in and ground with potential start. Set up the device I shown and power light source of SE2020 warm up for 20 to 30 minutes. Pin 14 for spectrometer control and pin 5 for ground. I will show you an example of trigger settings of SCC measurement using a model 3325 by potential start. Set up the SEC2020 spectrometer system for absorbance measurement. Connect the trigger cable end to the spectrometer. Connect the trigger cable to the cell port of model 3325 by potential start. Connect the trigger cable trigger in brown to pin 14 of the cell port of model 3325 by potential start. Connect the trigger cable ground black to pin 5 of the cell port of model 3325 by potential start. Insert the SECCT thin layer coarse glass spectroelectrochemical cell kit into the cuvette holder. 
connect model 3325 cell cable to the electrodes of the core cell. Connect USB cables to model 3325 and the spectrometer respectively. Power on light source of SEC2020. Warm up for 20 to 30 minutes. Next, set the software of SEC2020 spectrometer system. At the first step, you need to create an absorption spectrum and using the reduced solution as a reference. Let's watch the operation pr procedure with a video. Open SEC spectra and create an absorption spectrum. Adjust the integration time, average, and boxcar so that the spectrum can be displayed within the recommended range. Select Absorbance from Measurement on the menu bar. Confirm the spectrometer serial number and click Next. Adjust the integration time, number of scan to average, and boxcar width. This time, we will refer to potassium ferrocyanide solution, which is in the reduced state. Click on the color patch to get the reference spectrum. Turn off the shutter of the light source and acquire the dark spectrum. Cover the measurement system so that light does not enter the cell from the outside during measurement. Turn on the shutter of the light source and proceed to the next. If you click OK after setting the display, an absorption spectrum, absorbance zero, is created. Since potassium ferrocyanide solution is used as a reference, the absorbance at this time is zero. Second, record settings for SEC 2020 spectrometer software. SEC Spectra provides a time sequence for record the spectrum changes in Intel wavelength range. For specific wavelengths, Please use strip chart measurement. Let's watch the operation details by video. Settings of time sequence. Open time sequence window on the right of the software screen and pin it. Select the spectrum you want to save. Click the Save to icon. In the window that appears, Select the folder where you want to save the data. Next, set the data storage interval. Here, we set to every 5 seconds. Continue until by stopped by user. Check on create file at every tracking interval to save the spectra at separate files. Third, set trigger mode for SEC2020 spectrometer software. We set to a stable level trigger mode, so that the start and the stop of recording will depend on TTL signal from a potential start. Let's watch the operation procedure with a video. Next, set trigger mode for SEC spectra. Select trigger setting from the settings on the menu bar. Select serial number of spectrometer and set the trigger mode to a stable level trigger. Click Enable and OK. Return to the spectrum screen. Make sure the spectrum is stationary. Next, setting of potential start software. Set the model 3325 by potential start to output a TTL signal during runtime. There is a spectrometer control function. You need to select on 
and run any measurement to active the spectrometer control. Then the output from the cell port, pin number 14, will be 5 volt during run and 0 volt during quiet time and between run. If you use another potential start, please set the output signal same as this TTL operation schematic. Set electrochemical measurement parameters. This time, we select amperometric IT curve technique. Set the initial potential to 0 0.5 volt for oxidative electrolysis of potassium ferrocyanide. After setting the parameters, the electrochemical measurement conditions are ready. The preparation is complete. Let's start the SEC measurement now. First, click record icon to start time sequence measurement. Click run of model 3325 software to start the measurement. The spectral signal of the SEC 2020 software starts to move in conjunction with the electrochemical measurement. With the oxidation of potassium ferrocyanide, the absorbance at 300 nanometer and 420 nanometer increases. Since it is set to a stable level trigger, the absorbance measurement will stop automatically when the measurement of model 3325 is completed. Click Stop of Time Sequence Measurement to end the record. The absorption spectrum is recorded according to the time sequence measurement conditions. The spectrum is recorded for each data acquisition interval. Confirm that the data is saved in the save distinction folder. Data will be stored at every specified tracking interval. For special wavelengths, you need to save strip chart recording after the experiment is complete. You can load the saved spectrum curve and analyze the data on the software. We overlay data in same window here. Let's watch the operation procedure with a video. Click Open Spectrum File from the File menu. Select multiple SPS format files and overlay graphs in the same window. The spectra are initially displayed at the default scale. You can adjust the scale to the appropriate range. Oxidation of potassium ferrocyanide showed a faster reaction in the first 20 seconds and the increase in spectrum was also large. It can be seen that the change in current is consistent with the increase in the spectrum. The data saved without checking create file at every tracking interval will be saved as a video and can be read and play on the software. This is effective for a quick view of the spectrum change. Next, I will show you how to assemble the SEC3F flow cell by video. You can watch how to assemble the SEC3F flow cell by video on our BES channel too. For the spectroelectrochemical cells, there are batch type, 
SECCT, and flow type, SEC3F. In this video, we will introduce how to assemble the SEC3F spectroelectrochemical flow cell. The assembly image of the SEC3F spectroelectrochemical flow cell is shown. Here are the details of the components. Flow cell block 1. Flow cell block 2. Silicon gasket. Pan small screw. Teflon tube. Stainless steel pipe. Fitting, peak. Silicon tube. And needle for suction. Working electrode and reference electrode are options. Phillips screwdriver is necessary for the assembly. Overlap a gasket on the flow cell block 1, matching the screw holes. Set a working electrode to cover the center hole of the gasket. For ITO electrodes, face the front side, electrode surface, toward flow cell block 1. Let it protrudes about 3 mm from flow cell block 1. Placing another silicone gasket over the working electrode. This will prevent liquid leakage from the cell. Set flow cell block 2 over the flow cell block 1 and the gaskets, matching the screw holes. Fix the flow cell blocks 1 and 2 by 4 screws, while making sure that the working electrode does not slip off. Tighten the 4 screws evenly. If you tighten the screws all at once, the working electrode may crack, so tighten them little by little. Insert the stainless steel pipe into the fitting. Put out the tip about 2 mm. Connect the silicone tube to the stainless steel pipe. Cut the Teflon tube to a suitable length and connect it to the silicone tube. Insert another Teflon tube into the fitting. Stick out the tip about 2 mm. Attach the Teflon tube for waste liquid to the X position in the figure on the upper right of the screen. When attaching the fitting to the flow cell, be careful not to over tighten the screws. Install the stainless steel pipe at the Y position in the figure on the upper right of the screen. Attach a reference electrode at the Z position in the figure on the upper right of the screen. The stainless steel pipe is also used as a counter electrode. If the solution is sent from the inlet side, bubbles are less likely to form. If you do not use a liquid feed pump, please use a suction needle instead of a Teflon tube for waste liquid. Attach a fiber collimator included in SEC 2020 on flow cell block 2 side. Remove the inner cylinder of a collimator included in SEC 2020. Attach the collimator to flow cell block one side. Next, set the SEC3F flow cell on SEC2020 platform. Let the fiber collimator facing the spectrometer. Connect the fiber collimator and spectrometer. Insert the light source into the collimator with the inner cylinder removed. Finally, fix the position of the light source and spectrometer with the screws for the platform. This completes the assembly of SEC3F spectroelectrochemical flow cell. Here is a setup example using SEC3F spectroelectrochemical flow cell, SEC2020 spectrometer system, 
and model 3325 by potential start. Trigger cable connection is same as the quartz glass cell. Let's watch the video to see next steps in measurement with the flow cell. The top of the SEC3F flow cell. Set up the devices as shown. This time we use a shock needle. Connect the model 3325 cell cable to the electrodes of the flow cell. Power on light source of SEC2020 warm up for 20 to 30 minutes. Aspirate the sample solution into the flow cell with a syringe. Shock slowly to allow the solution to fill the flow cell. The suction needle method is convenient for easily changing another sample solution or cleaning the cell with water. At last, let me show you a measurement example using flow type cell. This is a user report of SEC measurement using BAS spectrometer and the spectroelectrochemical flow cell. The sample is vitamin B12 derivatives. Figure 1 shows the structures of vitamin B12 derivatives used in the paper. In this lecture, I'd like to introduce the experiment related to cobalt. The redox characteristics were determined using cyclic voltammetry and the spectroelectrochemical methods. The user used a spectroelectrochemical flow cell with carbon grid working electrode and custom-made PT counter electrode. The gasket thickness is 250 micrometer. Figure 2 shows the cyclic voltammetry of vitamin B12 derivatives in organic solvents. Measurements were carried out at room temperature and uh, nitrogen atmosphere using a GC working electrode and PT counter electrode. Figure 2a, cobalt ester in a cetal natural displayed apparent one quasi reversible reduction peak at about minus 0 0.9 volt versus AG AGCL, which corresponds to two step reduction of complex leading to monovalent cobalt species via divalent cyanocobalt species. Figure 2b, presence of an excess of the cyanide, cyanide anion influences the redox properties of cobalt ester. The two electron reduction peak shifts towards the cathodic side minus 1.2 volt. Supposedly, this was caused by the formation of the base of travelant cobalt Dijano complex. Figure 3 shows the electronic spectra of vitamin B12 derivatives. It was examined using controlled potential electronic spectroscopy. Measurement were carried out at room temperature and uh, nitrogen atmosphere using the carbon grid IDO working electrode and PT counter electrode. Gasket thickness of flow cell is 250 micrometer. Red line is the starting species, thermocobalt ester. Purple line, the spectrum recorded after 15 minutes of electrolysis at minus 1.0 volt, revealed 
the presence of expected monovalent cobalt species with the absorption maximum at 390 nanometer with a byproduct uh, with maximum absorption at 370 and 580 nanometer wavelengths that are characteristics for travelant uh, cobalt species. The formation of the Giziano complex was observed here. This was also detectable by cyclic voltammetry. Green line, the absorption bands didn't uh, disappear upon prolonging the time of electrolysis but once the potential was lowered to minus 1.4 volt, a mixture quantitatively transformed into a final monovalent cobalt form. In this paper, the redox characteristics were determined using cyclic voltammetry and the spectral electrochemical methods. Let's look at the features of the experiment. The cyclic voltammograms were obtained using a BAS electrochemical analyzer with a cylindrical three electrode cell. The spectral electrochemical measurements were carried out using a BAS SEC2000 UV visible spectrometer system. The successor is SEC2020 spectrometer system and experiments were carried out with a SEC flow cell at stopped flow and under nitrogen atmosphere. The flow cell equipped with a 250 micrometer gasket. This thin layer used here was to reduce the electrolysis total time. The vitamin B12 derivatives were samples with high absorbance Therefore, even using a thin layer, it still showed relative high absorbance value. Okay, here's the summary of today's lecture. The measurement procedure in detail used the ALS spectral electrochemical cell and the spectrometer system was uh, introduced. ALS provides two types of SEC cells based on optical transparent electrode method. SEC2020 spectrometer system provides a trigger cable to allow you synchronize electrochemical measurement. Please input high TTL signal to spectrometer during run. Absorbance difference delta OD is an efficient method to observe when spectral changes are not obvious. Here I introduced an example of application that flow cell was used for controlled potential electronic spectroscopy under nitrogen atmosphere. Hope this can help you to understand the aging of flow cell. And you can access our BS channel or movie library to watch the SEC cell assembly and other operational videos of SEC measurements. Thank you for your attention. Do you have any question regarding to the lecture or other talk? Also, if you have, if you did not submit for the application to this webinar, but want to have the summary of this lecture, you can contact us. The email is here. In addition, the movies of variety of topics you can watch here in the BAS channel, which you can follow and have access to the latest news, including the past webinars. The next. The next webinar we are working out to have for August. It will be a lecture in the field of coordination chemistry and electrochemistry.
for today. Thank you and have a nice week.